Hey guys, what's up? It's the Epic Cuber here. Welcome to my tutorial video on how to solve a 2x2x3 slim tower. Alright, so I was going to go ahead and make a video on how to solve a 3x3x4, three by three by but I decided I'd better do this one first. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be using the Z Cube Slim Tower. It's a uh, pretty nice puzzle. I might be doing a review on it, so I won't say too much about it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is just scramble your puzzle. Whoa! Well, I guess that seemed to do a um, fair enough job. Now the method I'm going to be teaching you only requires really two algorithms, and this is a quite easy solve, so it should not take a very long time. So this will probably be a quite quick video. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to solve the inside center. So this is very simple. All you basically do is you just go around in a circle and you turn one face 180 degrees. And eventually it'll go back to a solved position. Alright, so the second thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pick a outside face. I like to solve the dark colored one next if you're using the Z cube. So I would choose this one right here and I see that I already have two edges paired actually. But you're going to want to make sure that the, safe th the face that you're solving is on the proper side. If you see here, the green is lined up, but there's a red here. So that's actually not lined up. This actually needs to be on the bottom. So all I do is I just turn it down 180 degrees. Actually, this is in the right position, but you'll notice that I just messed up my center. So I just move this out of the way, so 180 degrees on the bottom, and then put it back up. And you see that my inside center is still solved, and I have these two pieces actually in the right place. And actually, I got lucky and got a third. All right, let's go ahead and learn our first algorithm. First algorithm that we're going to learn swaps a top corner piece for a bottom corner piece. So what you want to do is you want to line up the corner piece above its respective area that it needs to be at the end of the solve. So I see that I have the gray, green, and yellow, and I have the gray, which needs to be facing down, and the green and the yellow. In this algorithm, when I say an R turn or an F turn, that is, it has to be a 180 degree turn. Because if I were to turn it only 90 degrees, it would not be able to turn because this is not a shape-shifting puzzle. So, let's go ahead and learn the algorithm. The algorithm is R, U, R, U prime, R. And you see, I just traded these two corner pieces for each other. So, you might notice that I have a bit of a dilemma though. I swap the centerpiece around. Don't worry, what you want to do is you want to hold that in the same place you were holding it, so on the right. Don't do any cube rotations. All you want to do is you want to line up that blank space down here and the blank space up here, and you want to swap these two corner pieces, but you want to hold it in that area that you just did the algorithm in. Otherwise, you would scramble the center of the cube. Now this will fix itself. So the algorithm, in, you do it again, R, U, R prime, U prime, R. There you go. Now you have the bottom two layers, and all you have to do is swap these two corner pieces. Okay, let's go ahead and learn the last algorithm that we need to know, and that is to swap these two corner pieces. So the way that you need to hold the cube is you need to position it to where you have a solved pair on the left side. And you perform this algorithm. R, U, R, U prime, R, U prime, D, R, U prime, R, U, R prime. And then you just position the bottom. You very well could have something that looks like this. This is actually a parity error to where these two edges need to be swapped. Now there's an easy algorithm to fix this. So you need to hold the solved side on your left and the two edges that need to be swapped on the right. 
and you perform this algorithm. R, U2, R, U2, R, U2. And there, that's all of the algorithms. Easy puzzle. So, hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope this was of some help. If you have any questions, post them in the comments section below. If you'd like more content, please subscribe. Have an epic day. Bye.